We move back to Greensboro now where four people running for mayor held their third debate. They'll all face off in a primary election on May 17th. The top two vote getters will go head to head in the general election on July 26th. WFMY News 2's Avery Powell was at tonight's debate where sparks flew several times. Well, the four candidates are current mayor Nancy Vaughn, current Greensboro City Council member Justin Outley, former Guilford County Judge Mark Cummings and Eric Robert. They debated tonight at the International Civil Rights Center and Museum. Vaughn, Cummings and Outling traded a lot of jabs throughout the roughly one hour debate. Taxpayer, you have to read the and policy. that is, no, I know the policy because I wrote it. The candidates went back and forth, but not always on the specific issues. Sometimes the arguments got personal. They were each asked their thoughts on Greensboro's biggest challenge and how they would address it as mayor. Outling said economic development, housing and public safety, but did not elaborate further. Here's what the other three candidates said. We have to address the root causes of violence and what is happening in our community, number one. And that is a comprehensive approach. My first priority as your mayor would be to get this crime problem under control. And I have the credibility to be able to do it. We don't really have smart leaders. And I think that, you know, we have a lot of issues. You know, whether you talk about crime, disparity, poverty, race relations, none of these issues are new. There's nothing that just popped up. While Outling didn't address that specific question further, he talked a lot about his experience on city council and wanting to be able to help set the agenda for the council. You can accomplish a lot as a council member in a district or as at large, but you have a greater opportunity to do more when you're the mayor. And our city, quite frankly, needs more. This is the third debate with these candidates. You can watch the last debate on WFMYNews2.com.